the sun is closer from the camel's back. This is an old Mongolian saying in praise of Bactrian camels. Without them, humans may have never settled in the cold and arid Gobi Desert. But their numbers have plummeted since the end of communism in 1990, as herders began to opt for more lucrative animals. A camel is much bigger than goats and sheep, but its wool is much less profitable. A kilo of camel wool is less than $2, while a kilo of cashmere is $20 to $25. So people see more sense in herding smaller animals. There are fewer than 400,000 Bactrian camels in Mongolia. That's less than 1% of the total livestock population of 60 million. Local festivals like this one aim to promote the camel and celebrate its strength and endurance by racing them. It's an exciting competition, but not always well at the finish line. Local wildlife officials organizing the event believe the winning camel is an illegal crossbred offspring of a wild camel and is therefore disqualified. The Great Gobi strictly protected area in southwest Mongolia is home to a camel so rare and endangered a captive breeding and release program is perhaps its only hope of avoiding extinction. Mongolians call these camels haftgai, or flat, because of their flatter skulls and smaller humps. Only about 1,500 of these critically endangered animals roam the Gobi Desert between China and Mongolia. These camels were once thought to be closely related to the Bactrian until genetic tests proved them to be a new and separate species, separated from the Bactrian more than 700,000 years ago. They are the only truly wild camels in the world. Conservationists say preventing crossbreeding with domestic Bactrian camels is critical for preserving both species. The Haftre is the only wild to humped camel in the world. If it goes extinct, the only representational group of this family will disappear. That's why protecting this animal and increasing its population to preserve its gene pool is of paramount importance. Domestic Bactrians and wild camels have been an important part of the Gobi landscape for centuries. Wild camels may be in greater danger of becoming extinct, but both species require all the help they can get to cope with the shared threats of climate change and increased incidence of drought in the region. Pearly Jacob, Al Jazeera, Gobi Altai, Mongolia.